Behind me is a scary looking video of a rotating column of air, which some saying is a tornado that caused the extensive damages on Wednesday, the 27th of November in Randfontein, west of Johannesburg. Now, in my professional opinion, it looks more like a land spout. And the difference between a land spout and a tornado is a land spout will start forming at the ground and rotating up to a cloud base where a tornado will usually form at the base of the cloud of a supercell and then rotates downwards up until it touches down. Now even though a land spout is usually a bit weaker and short-lived compared to a tornado it can still cause damages due to the strong winds. Now the South African Weather Service is the authority and they'll do an investigation and clarify whether it was indeed a tornado or land spout. We are thankful that the severe conditions are moving away from the country into Thursday. So here's your forecast. This Thursday, we can see that cold front associated with the severe storms is starting to drift away from South Africa, but behind the front, an onshore flow will bring in much cooler conditions and showers for the southern eastern Cape as well as KwaZulu Natal with thunderstorms at first moving over parts of Limpopo and Pumalanga and showers expected on and off on a Thursday along the eastern escarpment as well as the surrounding regions. Beyond that front, a southwesterly wind will start to blow strong between East London as well as Richard Spray, bringing in much cooler conditions for eastern South Africa, a fresh southerly wind for the west coast and also a coolish southerly breeze at times times for the interior of South Africa. Where it's cloudy in Limpopo and Pumalanga, you'll have a poor PV harvest as well as some cloud moving over the southern and eastern regions of South Africa, but peak performance on your solar panels over large parts of the Cape provinces. We are expecting some cloud at first to hang over the Western Cape. Otherwise, later a sunny day and a little bit windy at times along the coast and warmer weather with maximum temperatures in the mid-20s and reaching the upper 20s in parts of um, the Karoo. But we still have this onshore flow that's bringing in a few light showers for the southern coastline and also the southwesterly wind will bring in much cooler conditions and showers for the eastern Cape and blowing stronger times between East London as well as Port St. John's where it's going to be a much cooler day. Also much cooler conditions moving into KwaZulu Natal with this onshore southwesterly wind bringing in lots of cloud and showers throughout Thursday. Maximum temperatures only reaching about 20 to mid 20s in KwaZulu Natal. And and then also much cooler conditions with lots of rain moving into Mpumalanga. We're expecting a few thunderstorms at first. Maximum temperatures only around 20 degrees for the high felt and 18 for Mbombela. Showers on and off along the eastern escarpment on Thursday with also a few thunderstorms at first moving over Limpopo in the low felt. It's a much cooler day with a coolish southerly breeze blowing fresh at times. In northwest we're expecting lots of sunshine. Maximum temperatures in the upper 20s and a southerly breeze blowing a fresh at times. In the northern Cape also a fresh southerly breeze along the coast. It's a little bit cooler over the southern regions but warm and sunny over the rest of the province. Moving to the free state where it's also coolish at times over the southern regions with a southerly breeze blowing. 22 degrees in Bluefontein and 23 for Bethlehem. A few degrees cooler in Halting but still peaking at 27 degrees in Pretoria. A southerly breeze blowing with a 25 in Vereniging as well as Johannesburg. And then into Friday we expecting most of the rain to clear up, only a few light showers likely in KwaZulu Natal as well as in Pumalanga. Lots of sunshine expected on Friday as well as Saturday with almost no rain in the forecast. Only a few isolated showers likely in Pumalanga with maximum temperatures much warmer over the interior of the country. Well, that's all from me. And remember, no matter the weather, we're in this together. <laughs>